Hi folks, welcome back to Third World Garage and another exciting radiation type video. Today we're going to talk about what has to be my favorite clunker of a radiation detection device. It's ugly, but the thing is built like an absolute tank. Now, this is the Rat Alert 50. It's made by International Medcom. Probably better known for making things like the Inspector and the Inspector EXP, which are far better devices than this. However, for the money, if you're just looking for a cheap way to get into radiation, there's very few devices out there on the market that are any better. Now, it costs about twice as much as our little Soviet Syntex, but Syntex, although it has a much bigger tube, so it's much better at gamma, can only do, really only do gamma. Maybe some hard betas, but gamma is really all you're going to get out of one of these things. But this thing, what makes this cool is it's got what's called an end window tube. Now it's a very small tube. It's got uh, LND712 versus this, which is the CTC5 or, or um, what do you call it, SBM20 type tube, which originally, actually, interesting thing, originally designed for the Soyuz missions for uh, Roscosmos, or whatever they were called during Soviet times. But this, this is about half the price of this. These you can pick up for 60 or $70. Um, they are considered obsolete because they're in, in Röntgen, or Röntgen, however you want to say that word. That's fine by me. Uh, milli Röntgen per hour, I usually just say because it's easier. Um, rather than being in the more modern Sievert. So, what this came from is, this came out of, I believe it was Cambridge, Massachusetts. It was a surplus piece that probably came out of a university up there. Because they had an awful lot of them. They still do. I mean, you can still find these things really economically on on eBay. And I overpaid it 80 bucks. But for a cheap, basic device, and this one, it's, it's kind of trash looking. But the thing takes a lick and keeps on ticking. I've left it in a hot car in Florida for summer sitting under a seat completely forgot about it still works just fine today probably don't want to do that with it with one but it's nice to know that you can and that the, and that the thing is built very well it's also a much better quality plastic than this uh than the syntex syntex is really cheap really thin abs plastic if it's even abs this is a much thicker material you could probably hammer nails into bricks with this thing because it's so well built well, don't don't try that. <laughs> anyway, we'll take a look at the functionality here. Now you can you've got a choice of on. Well, here's a nice thing: is you don't have to have the audio on. So if you're going through a thrift store somewhere and you're trying to figure out if that piece of glass that you're looking at is Vaseline glass or some worthless piece of crap from the 70s that doesn't have any uranium in it at all, you can just leave that off. And, uh, and not listen to the, the beeps. You see, I can turn it on here, turn it off there, and I can also go for count per minute or total if you want to do a timing. Now, the thing that it doesn't have that the later versions of this have that International Midcom basically kept the same form factor but updated the electronics is that the later versions, you could actually set a recording time. And this one, you cannot do that. You have to actually physically time it yourself. Now, let me find something radioactive. And my favorite thing is the West Clocks Baby Ben with radium dial on it. It's from probably, I would say, the early to mid-1950s. As we can see, it gets up there quite quickly. Let me turn the audio on. Characteristic ticking that you have on a modern Geiger counter. And again, this is the, the device I keep because, unlike, say, the Air Counter S, which is cool because it's got that Fukushima connection, or the CDV 700, which is cool because it's a U.S. civil defense piece. Although I have taken that one out and used it at the. Um, before that, before the EPA came in and capped it, we had a a, um, a super fun site where they had processed um, thorium and as part of phosphate called the uh, Stoffer Chemical Plant in Tarpon Springs, Florida. And I went around the the fence line of, of Stoffer, the old Stoffer Chemical Plant, 
and checked it for radiation and actually did find elevated radiation levels right along the path by the road but saw the cops coming in so quickly got in my car and ran away now that first Geiger counter I had was a CDV 700 and I only paid $37 for that same price I just paid for this so you can see it's got you know it, it'll count your activities and it'll also do your milli rankin per hour it is about is about equivalent well move, move the decimal three places but it's about equivalent to your uh, count per minute but it's a it's a neat little piece it does have a data output and an audio output why you'd want to make that louder i don't know maybe for use in uh in a lab setting an educational setting but uh yeah not really necessary and there's a battery compartment you can see i got a duracell in there usually i like to use duracells because i've only had them leak and destroy one device this one is rated for december 2019 do be careful of those dates because my only working cdv 715 survey meter i left one in there for too long and it took it out so if it, if it comes down to nuclear Armageddon, I'm stuck with the Soviet DP-5V. I have a lot of these things, and I don't even I don't even know why anymore. But we can go ahead and clear it. We'll try one more sample. Everybody's seen that, seen this before. It's Vaseline glass, depression glass, whatever you want to call it. It's got uranium-238 in it, and we'll just stick this on here not tremendously radioactive a little above background is my background here is about 0 0.005 millirankin per hour to maybe 0 0.010 0 0.015 at the it, 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 it will be an anomalous reading maybe a little more in this room because I can't I keep my low-level samples in here but as you can see, picks it up. You can use these. These are fairly cheap. You pick them up on eBay. And they do work quite well. But anyway, this is a short little video to show these things off. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you and have a nice day.